Hey guys, we should have Team Bad Yugi's here, and I've got another January 14 deck profile. Now this is uh, Mythic Rulers, and this is the list based on um, uh, Alexander Lysgath, uh the duelist formerly known as Base Lolly, uh, on his list. For what he took to uh, ARG Las Vegas, I believe? Yeah. Anyways, we have four extremely good cards, the Dragon Rulers, and then we have their many banishable targets, Double Mythic. Uh, water, double mythic tree. Now, as you know, after Soul Charge came out, it was very common to play these as a 1 1. But since we didn't have that at the time, at least we had two waters for the trade ends. I see this where they only play one tree, and I don't disagree with that. But I'm just going with his list here. And I do like the idea of having two winds, two earths, two waters, and two fires, which he does. One debris, one influence. Debris was limited. Uh, two flight of Elgards. And then. For the engine that made up for at least a part of the lack of the actual Dragon Ruler, since they were all limited the format before that. With two blue eyes and two white stones. And two card troopers. Then for the spells, we have three young hopens. Then we have two trade ends and two consonants. The consistency in this deck was off the chain. We have three dragon shrine. And then we have foolish burial, gold sark. And one other burial. Burial from a different dimension. To return the resources. Just when your opponent thought they had you. They didn't. At all. Then for the traps. We have the best opening card. Right here. Skill drain. Um, very good play in this deck. Would just be to open up making Stardust skill drain. If you made that. You win. Almost always. It was fantastic. Double mirror force. We have one regeki break. Because it was great fuel. Great interruption. He swears by it. I'm definitely a fan. And one bottomless, one torrential, and one warning. Moving on to the extra deck. Of course I have Draco Sack Tokens. Not actual Draco Sack Tokens. Not yet. One Felgram, one Heliopolis. Two Draco Sack. One Big Eye. And then one Exiton. And one Lava Vol Chain. You'd make these off of Debris Dragon, grabbing back a Mythic Tree Dragon. That's why I agree with playing Double Mythic Tree, because you actually just wanted it in the graveyard more often, so you grab it back for those plays. We have one Black Rose, one Stardust, one Scrap Dragon, one Colossal Fighter, one Crimson Blader, one Triandragium, one Leo, and one Star Eater. A lot of good variety. This card's your ace against Bujins. This was great against Fire Fist. This was great against Mermail. This was great against Geargia. Oh, just awesome. There's no one, like, people thought this deck died when, uh, the Dragon Wars were all limited, and it wasn't really popular until he started messing around with it, and, um, uh, he and, uh, who else was he working with? Gosh darn it, I can't remember. But, uh, they started working on this for, um, ARG and, uh, like, a YCS or a regional, and they just started destroying, and he took it, and he finished really well. I can't remember. It was somewhere in the top eight. That, maybe even top four? Gosh, I can't remember. But anyways, uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me about your favorite things about this deck, maybe. Because there are so many cool combos. This is such a fun deck to play. Whenever I'm playing this around at a regional, people are picking this deck out all the time to play. Because it's just so it's so great. Really, uh, I definitely am glad that I put it in here. Base lolly. Um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. This is uh, Fushido of Team Bad Yugi's. Thank you for watching this Yu-Gi-Oh! Club video. Be sure to check the subscription, the, the description box, for any uh, for any other resources such as links to other decks, other formats, and duels. Of course, the good the good stuff. Um, resolve barrel from a different dimension for game.